proud to be here with the mayor of Biloxi. The reason I'm proud to be here with him uh, and, and with the governor and the senators is because uh, in spite of this terrible tragedy, uh, their spirits are high. Uh, I, it's hard to describe the devastation that we have just walked through. I just talked to a fellow who's raised in, uh, in the house that used to be. And he's got rubble surrounding him. And I said, you doing all right? He said, I'm doing fine. I'm alive. And my mother's alive. I talked to a fellow who runs a wrecking service. I think it's a wrecking service. He said, I witnessed Camille. We went through Camille and we'll go through this storm Katrina. You know, there's a lot of sadness, of course. Um, but there's also a spirit here in Mississippi that is uh, uplifting. I, I want to thank the governor for his strong leadership. He set some clear parameters uh, and has follow through on helping calm everybody's nerves. I want to thank the mayor. Neither of them asked for this when they got elected. Now they're called upon to help solve the problem. And I've come down here, one, to take a look at the damage firsthand. And I'm telling you, it's, it's just worse than imaginable. And secondly, to tell the good people of this part of the world that the federal government is going to help. The first job is to save lives. And earlier today, and uh, had a chance to meet with some chopper drivers. Guys dangling off of cables that are pulling people out of harm's way. And I want to thank them for their hard work. We're going to stabilize the situation and then get food and medicine and water. I traveled today with the head of the Red Cross and the Salvation Army. And people here are going to see compassion pour in here. There's a lot of folks in America that want to help. If you want to help, Give, give, give cash to the Salvation Army and the Red Cross. We can ask for other help later on, but right now we need to get food and clothes and medicine uh, to the people, and we'll do so. And one of the main delivery systems will be the Armies of Compassion. We're going to clean all this mess up. The federal government is going to uh, will spend money to clean it up. Uh, the first uh, down payment will be signed tonight by me as a result of the good work of the Senate and the House. Ten and a half billion dollars. But there's going to t that's just the beginning. The people got to understand that out of this rubble is going to come a, a new Biloxi, Mississippi. It's hard to envision it right now. When you're standing amidst all that rubble, it's hard to think about a new city. But uh, when you talk to folks that have been through Camille and have seen what happens and you, and you listen to the spirit of people, you realize Mr. Grant, that uh, after a lot of hard work, people are going to be people are proud of the effort. And I want to thank you for your leadership here. And Haley, I want to thank you for yours. And again, I want to thank you and Thad. They're going to be very important uh, members of the, they are important members of the Senate. And they're going to be an important part of this, uh, making sure we fund, fund this recovery effort. I'll answer a couple of questions. Mr. President, you prepared for the vastness of this destruction? I don't think anybody can be prepared for the vastness of this destruction. You can look at a picture, but until you sit uh, on that doorstep of a house that used to be or stand by the rubble, you just can't imagine it. And we took a low, we, we took a low chopper ride uh, from here uh, to here, and we're going to take it on over to New Orleans here. And the destruction is unbelievable. And it's destruction on the coast, and it's destruction off the coast. And we got a lot of work to do, Terry. Uh, a lot of resources being devoted to Iraq and Afghanistan. They're frustrated about that. Yeah. What do you say to the people who say there's too much money being spent on Iraq and Afghanistan? I, I, I just completely disagree. We've got a job to defend this country in the war on terror, and we've got a job to bring aid and comfort to the people of, of the Gulf Coast, and we'll do both. We've got plenty of resources to do both. Uh, somebody questioned me the other day about or do we have enough National Guard troops? Of course we do. These governors have got compacts uh, with other states. If they need uh, to call upon another state, the state will send guard troops. Uh, and uh, uh, the people just got to know we've got what it takes to do more than one thing. And we'll secure our country from the terrorists and we'll help rebuild this, uh, this part of the world. This morning, when you said that the results are not acceptable, what specifically were you talking about? Well, I'm talking about uh, uh, the fact that uh, we don't have enough security in New Orleans yet. 
Results are acceptable here in Mississippi. Uh, you know, the results are acceptable in New Orleans when it comes to the hard work of the Coast Guard. But we need to get troops. We had 1,200 troops arrive yesterday, I'm told. We're going to have 1,200 today, 1,200 more. Since we're going to be spending billions in, in tax dollars to rebuild that great city, that we might want to think about building it in such a way where it's not below sea level again, whether it's somehow moved around or, or relocated or moved up. What, what are your thoughts on that? My thoughts are uh, we're going to get somebody who knows what they're talking about when it comes to rebuilding cities. Uh, I'm going to delegate. I'm going to call upon the best experts, starting with the people in New Orleans, <laughs> and get, get opinions as we work with the local folks. Uh, we're going to help people rebuild uh, strats. That's, that's what we're going to do, and we're going to listen to people who know what they're doing. Um, and uh, but my objective now, of course, is to save lives and get people out of New Orleans, um, and then uh, and make sure that those who are out of New Orleans and in New Orleans get food and help, just like in Mississippi. Uh, Mississippi people have got to understand that I know a lot of the focus is on New Orleans, but I'm thinking about Mississippi as well. I'm not only thinking about coastal Mississippi, I'm thinking about rural Mississippi. Uh, places in this part of the state that are remote and don't have electricity. And they just gotta know that uh, the governor talked to me about it and I listened very carefully about the problems facing these good folks. And one of the things we're gonna concentrate on is getting these, uh, getting these electric plants up and running and getting the power to the people so that they can have the electricity necessary to live uh, a more normal life. It's uh, these are tough times. This is a, a storm, the likes of which, you know, I pray I never see again. Uh, it's the like, it's a storm, the likes of which the people have been through. Camille, they said, you know, Camille was terrible. We're never going to see anything like Camille again. Camille was in '69, and the guy said, you know, we, we we felt safe here in this part of the neighborhood. Because Camille didn't hit it. And sure enough, we witnessed a storm worse than me. And uh, again, I want to thank all the people that are working hard. We've seen line crews, we've seen firefighters from around the country. People around here are going to be amazed at the compassion that pours into this community. First things first, we got to make them safe. Mr. Mayor, again, thank you for your hospitality. Thank, thank you, Mr. President. Governor, thanks for your leadership.